Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of rate of change, specifically how we can identify the rate of change in equations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a word problem here and it gives us a function right here. This y equals 2.5 plus 0 0.25 and then multiplied by x minus 1. So that is used to determine the cost in dollars of unlocking and riding an electric scooter. All right, so it looks like there's a, an unlock fee, and then you're going to pay something like uh, 25 cents a mile, X miles, except uh, you don't have to pay for that very first mile. It looks like that first mile, that minus one means that first mile is included in that $2.50 unlock fee. So we're looking for the rate of change. And so it says... The rate of change of the cost. Okay, so what is the cost? Well, this function right here, y equals, so that's going to be my cost. So I'm looking for the rate of change for my cost, and that's going to be my y, with respect to, so that's going to give me a ratio, the cost per number of miles. All right, so we can say cost which is y over miles x. Does that look familiar? When we're looking at the change in y over the change in x, that's my slope. So this rate of change is just a different way of really asking for what is my slope, and we recognize that as m. And so take a look at this equation, right? If we wanted to kind of simplify it we could do this 2.5 plus and let's just go ahead and distribute out this 0 0.25 right 0 0.25 x minus 0 0.25 so if we wanted to put it into our slope intercept form y equals mx plus b let's get that 0 0.25 x up front Get 2.5 minus 0 0.25, so that's going to be plus 2, and there's only 2.25 left. So there's my equation. So when I'm looking for my slope, the rate of change is going to be right there. It's that coefficient in front of that x. So this, the rate of change is going to be that 0 0.25, or 25 cents per mile. Let's look at another example. So here, we just have an equation. We don't even have a word problem. We're looking for the rate of change of y with respect to x. So right, that's going to be my slope again. But take a look at this form, this 4 fifths x minus 2 thirds y equals 8 thirds. All right, that's not given to me in slope-intercept form. This is actually given to me in standard form, this ax plus by equals c. There's no slope inherent in that form. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and change that into my slope intercept form. Because if I can get it to look like this, well then I could find that coefficient in front of that x. So let's do that. Let's solve for y. Because when we solve for y, we will find our slope. So let's uh, subtract uh, 4 fifths x from both sides. All right, that's going to get me my that's going to get rid of that. That's going to get me, and I'll write it right over here, minus 2 thirds y equals minus 4 fifths x, and then I've got my y-intercept of 8 thirds. Now, if, when I want to solve for that y, right, I, what I need to do is I need to multiply by uh, the reciprocal. So it's negative 2 thirds, right? So I need to instead multiply by negative 3 halves because then that's going to cancel out and that's just going to leave me with y. But now I've got to multiply the other side by that negative 3 halves. So we can distribute that out. 3 halves negative 4 fifths x plus, and then it's that same thing, 8 thirds negative 3 halves. And really we're not, we don't really worry about that too much. I just need to simplify this, right? So that's going to be Two negatives make a positive. It's going to be 12 tenths x, and we can just kind of simplify that down to 6 fifths x. That 6 fifths is what we're looking for. We don't really need that. That is our rate of change, 6 fifths.